Hello everybody and welcome to the Darkwater Films channel. Today, in a new series, we're going to be discussing two things, color and light. These are two things everyone is familiar with and knows to some extent how and when each should be used or changed. Color, while a byproduct of light, has different characteristics and applications than its predecessor. RGB, a color system used by LED displays and PC keyboards all over the globe. But what is it and how does it actually work? RGB, or red, Green and blue is an interesting system that allows you to mix different colors of, well, red, green, and blue light in order to create the illusion of grayscale, white, gray, and black. RYB, or red, yellow, blue, is a color system that affects pigments rather than light. RYB works in conjunction with RGB in filmmaking because your light bounces off of the pigments that you're seeing in the RYB spectrum. When you have your wardrobe and your set design, mixing with the lights that you have in your scene. For instance, I'm surrounded by red, yellow, and blue. Those of you who have seen the Matt Reeves Batman, you probably already know where I'm going with this. Towards the end of the film's runtime, Batman is leading a group of Gotham citizens through a disaster in the pitch darkness, illuminated by nothing but the red-hued light of an emergency flare. Now, this scene is good, impactful, and visually stunning, but what would happen if I made the flare, say, green? Whoa, now the Riddler vibes are brought out much more, but the atmosphere is way off base. Everything looks sick, toxic, and Joker-esque as opposed to alarming, dangerous, and angry, with anger being a running theme throughout the film's runtime. That brings us to the last piece of our cinematic breakdown, light itself. In this shot from the Batman, you can see very defined shadows and vibrant dark spots creating a very dramatic contrast on the actor's face. And yet, you can still clearly see what's happening around him, distinguishing the background from the foreground, despite them both being bathed in the same color of light. Just a little post note I discovered while getting the images for this video as visual reference. In future videos, we'll get a little more into other kinds of light and color models, mainly HSL or hue, saturation, and lightness, and brightness and contrast. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video as well. That's a big surprise. Most of you bail about five seconds into anything that doesn't have gameplay over it. Anyway, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications in order to catch the next video on color and light. Later!